some of you guys maybe don't even know what the show is. It's about, I'm, I'm half Colombian. So my mum was backpacking in South America when she was 22, came home, found out she was pregnant. That's me. Isn't that? <laughs> Pretty good story. <laughs> Anyone else cocaine babies or? <laughs> it's me. She fucked up, man. I love my mum, but that's dumb, isn't it? <laughs> kind of unprotected sex in Colombia in the late 80s. Whew. Read the news, do you know what I mean? She's very lucky I'm not AIDS, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I <laughs> could have killed her, instead I just ruined her dreams. Very <laughs> lucky. She used to get mad at me when I was a kid for doing dumb shit. She's like, Aiden, why do you make these stupid decisions? I was like, what was that, bareback backpacker? What was that, mate? <laughs> <laughs> Call me dumb, this is why you're dumb, right here. <laughs> 30 year hangover, you fucked up, lady. <laughs> it's, it's kind of funny to call my mum lady, anyway. <laughs> but um, yeah, I never met the guy. Um, Fernando is his name. <laughs> Fernando. The Colombian man who had sex with my mum is named Fernando. <laughs> like the ABBA song that was happening while they were doing it. Fernando. <laughs> If you had to pick a Latin name under pressure, do you know what I mean? <laughs> That'd be the one. I used to think maybe my mum didn't know who it was. She just saw the colour of my skin when I came out and went, all right, Fernando or Muhammad, I guess. What do we reckon? <laughs> Is that... <laughs> Is everyone all right with that one? <laughs> it's good. There's a few brown people in the audience to, like, anchor that joke off, you know, for the white people. They're like, that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're all good. We're all good, man. <laughs> no, I don't know what it means to be Colombian. I, uh, I, I grew up in Adelaide, not a big Colombian community, never met the guy. So it's just like, I, I don't know what it means to... Uh, the closest we had was there was a lot of Greek people in Adelaide when I was growing up. <laughs> kind of close to Colombian. Just my whole life, Greek dudes coming up to me excited. Bro, what's your ethnicity? Are you, are you Greek, bro? They're like, ah, are you Greek? I'm like, actually, my biological father's from Colombia. They're like, Co Co Colombia. So you're Greek. Hey! He's Greek. Jimmy, I told you. Re. <laughs> it's Greek dudes. Not all dumb, but the ones who are. Fuck, man. <laughs> <laughs> they make it obvious, you know. So, uh, yeah, never met the guy. Um, well, the closest, like, I guess, a connection I have to... to Colombian heritage. My nickname is Taco. Um, yeah, when I was 15, the first girl I ever kissed thought I looked Mexican, and she was like, Taco, Taco, Taco. Wanted to kiss her, so I was like, okay. <laughs> yeah. If you let me kiss you, you can call me whatever you want, honestly. Don't care. And I started introducing myself to people as Taco. For like 10 years, I did that. Because it was just easier than having a conversation when you meet someone, where are you from? These are normal questions. And eventually that leads to like, I've never met my dad. And people go, oh, and I'm like, get defensive because they're feeling sorry. I'm like, fuck you, you know? And then they're like, oh, are they all like that? And that's bad. So <laughs> rather than have that weird conversation that felt bad for me, I just go, what's up, I'm Taco. <laughs> 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 Taco. Makes it easier than just talk about never met my biological dad. And every now and then, someone will, I'll introduce myself as Taco, and someone will go, hey man, that's actually really racist. So maybe just think about that. Which I understand. Like, I get that comes from a good place, but it, I, it makes me angry when I hear that. I'm like, you know what, man? I don't fucking care. You know? I've never met my dad. Can I be Taco? <laughs> is that okay? <laughs> is that all right with you, Stephen? You know? <laughs> then they back off. Oh, no. No, nah, bro, not you. I mean, like, the not your not racist <laughs> brother. <laughs> the girl who called you that, she was racist. Like, they're trying to pin it on, yeah, the 15-year-old girl. She didn't understand racism. Let's get her. Let's kill her. <laughs> That was the genesis of racism, Sarah from Scouts, absolutely. <laughs> just feels like people point scoring when I'm trying to fucking never met my dad, you know? 
And I, I mean, it's just like that was my first kiss. There was more important shit at 15 to me than racism, you know. I was trying to kiss a girl. Very crucial, actually. Maybe Taco's a bad nickname, but a worse nickname? Virgin, all right? So... <laughs> Taco's fine. I've got a dad as well. My uh, mum met my stepdad when I was two. He raised me. He's my dad. I call him my dad. I love him. And uh, this is who my dad is, right? When I was 10, I asked my... His name's Derek, right? So when I was 10, I was like, wait, Dad, did anyone ever call you Des for short? And he said, no one that's lived. <laughs> <laughs> to a child, he said that. <laughs> lunatic man when i was 16 i had my first girlfriend so he sat me down for the chat and it was um we were out on the porch dad used to sit a lot out on the porch with his can of west end draft australia's number one cooking lager and <laughs> i got my first girlfriend he's like all right mate first girlfriend good for you right you're probably gonna have sex you guys it's great if you're gonna have sex use a condom don't fuck up like your mum did right <laughs> And if you need a condom, they're in the second drawer down, bedside table, take as many as you want. But if you take the last one, I'll fucking kill you. Because <laughs> you wanted to teach me about safe sex and sharing as well. You've got to share. <laughs> yeah, so um, when I was uh, like 23, my parents split up and I said, all right, let's try. I said to mum, let's try and find this guy, Fernando. You know, I want to verify the story. Um, but she found him, it was so quick. I was expecting like a long, pro I'm going to find my biological father. That sounds like a long process, doesn't it? Six months, we meet, hug in a field with cameras, you know. <laughs> Two days, man. Two days. <laughs> Facebook, <laughs> done. <laughs> she found him. She found some of it. He plays in a band. He's a musician. He lives in Austria. She found some of his music, this Colombian band that he plays in, and she sent it to me. And she didn't give me any explanation. That was the thing. My mum just... No, like, here's your biological dad, there he is, there he's a musician. Just, pfft, what do you reckon of that? Colombian music. <laughs> so I'm not thinking this is my biological dad, I'm just thinking, oh, my mum's having a midlife crisis, right? <laughs> the, you know, the breakup's tough, she's finding some new rhythms. Um, and the song's called Duerme Negrito, that's the name of the song that she sent me. Duerme Negrito. Anyone speak Spanish? Anyone? Yeah? Can you translate that? Duerme Negrito? No, you can't or no, you won't? <laughs> you rule, man. Uh, Duerme Negrito is a safe translation. Go to sleep, little black boy. <laughs> you did real smart there. I had a Spanish guy in my audience. Um, that's, you're on camera as well, so you've done very well there. <laughs> audience member cancelled at show. <laughs> What does she do? She's not allowed to do it anymore, ever. <laughs> I had a Spanish guy in my audience a few years ago who, like, English second language doesn't know all the synonyms. I'm like, can you translate that? And he's like, uh, go to sleep, mm, said the N-word. Everyone's like, ah! fuck, what do we do? People are like, I'm, I'm out, I'm out, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> Little black boy, much better translation. Negrito doesn't have the same connotations as the N-word in, in English, but it's still like a wild title for a song. And my mum sent me that. And after a while, she's like, what do you reckon? I'm like, nah, sorry, mate, not into it. My mum, very funny, as soon as she heard me commit to not liking it, she was like, oh, really? Because that's your biological father. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm like, oh... Nah, it's all right. It's good. Like, there's a bit of somethings there, you know. Good beat. Duerme Negrito. <laughs> I got this whole family in Colombia who I, I spoke to him in 2015 for the first time and then all these Colombian people added me on Facebook, just like, boost 20 people with the last name and the big neck, you know, and the same nose as me. Just all added me. What's up? We're your family. And... Uh, I talk to him, I try and practice my Spanish. This one lady, Tatiana Correa, messaged me for my birthday a couple of years ago. All in Spanish, I'm trying to practice. It was very nice. So uh, I formed a reply out of like the words that I kind of know cobbled together. I said, Espero que tu año ha estado lleno de felicidad, which means I hope that your year has been full of happiness, right? Año in Spanish means year. They've got, have you got this one already? It's good <laughs> shit, man. It's a good joke. You guys should learn Spanish. You get this. <laughs> 
show faster. Um, there's two ends. The Enya with the little, little, little moustache on the top. I don't have that key on my keyboard. I just got a normal one, so I use that. I'm not copying from Google, whatever. Sent it, checked on Google Translate. Año means year. Ano means anus in Spanish. <laughs> So I found out after the fact, I said to my cousin, who I've never met before, I hope that your anus has been full of happiness. <laughs> you know what? I stand by it. Good for her. <laughs> I hope it has. She seems lovely. She deserves that in her life, I reckon. Good for her.